Yeah, what up, guys? We're helping you with problem number eight. And we've got a gingerbread house. Whoa, new bulb. No cement. I cut little notches in it to make the gingerbread connect with each other. So tasty. Ah. Wow. Wow. Here we go. Hang in there. Okay, here we go. Let's see this video first. Hang in there. Okay, here we go, you guys. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at number eight. So it's already in simplest form, technically, because nothing cancels. Nothing cancels on the top, and nothing cancels on the bottom, right? So square just means that there's two of them. Right? There's two of them. Cool. So that's our simplest form. Um, two, oh, so nothing cancels the top and bottom. Nothing cancels in the top and bottom. So it's going to be a none and none. There's no holes. There's nothing cancels in the top and nothing cancels in the bottom. Now the vertical asymptote, even though there's two of them, we're only going to set one of them equal to zero. Minus two to the other side. So we can well get a vertical asymptote at negative two. So that's right here. Good. Um, the horizontal asymptote. Ooh. So there's a horizontal asymptote. And the horizontal asymptote, we look at the powers. So technically, what is this? This is 3x over x plus 2 times x plus 2. And so if you multiply that out, it would be, um, what, x squared plus 4x plus 4 if you multiply that all out. And so now we have top power 1 is less than bottom power. So 1 is less than 2. Top power is less than bottom power. Remember what the horizontal asymptote is? The top is less than bottom. Y equals... <laughs> That's right, zero. Top less than bottom, y equals zero. Good. If the powers were the same, you'd use the numbers in front. But the powers aren't the same, so we have to default to zero. So then we're going to go ahead and graph that. Just along here. Here we go. Okay, so then y-intercept. So to find the y-intercept, you set x equal to 0. And so we're going to plug it in there, and we're going to plug it in there, and we're going to plug it in there. So we get 3 times 0 all over 0 plus 2 times 0 plus 2. Well, 3 times 0 is just 0. And 0 plus 2 is 2 times 2 is a 4. But 0 over 4 is just 0. So we have a y-intercept at 0, 0. And funny enough, so x equals 0, we can plug it in there. And then funny enough, to find the x-intercept, you set y equal to 0, you set y equal to 0. But you also, to find the x-intercept, you set the top equal to 0. And in this case, we have a 3x. We have a 3x that we're going to set equal to 0. We divide by 3, we divide by 3, and we get 0 for the y value. That was the x value and the y value. We did set, we technically set y equal to 0, and then we got x equal to 0. So same thing, 0, 0. So we have 0, 0. So the x intercept, and then we have 0, 0 for the y intercept. So that's just right here. But Mr. Newbold, you're not supposed to cross the asymptote. Number eight's the weird one. It's an exception, and it's got lots of exceptions. So what you do, now that we have the all the information, you have to graph it. And the problem is, it's right on the asymptote. So we don't know if it's above or below. We don't even know. So you have to do a test point. I'm just going to graph it because I don't even want to do a test point at this point because this one's harder than the test, right? This is ridiculous. 
So I go to my graphing calculator, and I go ahead and clear out these graphs. And specifically, we're going to go down to number 6, and we're going to do 3x divided by x plus 2 all squared. And so when we graph it, something weird really happens. It's weird! So it turns out, as we get closer and closer to negative 2, our asymptote, it gets ginormous, negative, 19, negative 10 for the y value, negative 19, negative 45, it's going to infinity, and then it pops up negative 165, and then it pops up negative 6,435, and then it pops up and it becomes negative again on the left side, on the left side. So if we look at the second table, you're going to see the negative 2 is the error, that's the asymptote. And you're going to see a bunch of negative values on the left and right. Yeah, this is looking weird, isn't it? So basically, you're going to come along the asymptote. Let's do, um, let's do orange. So you can come along the asymptote, down this asymptote, come up this asymptote. Then you're going to go through the x-intercept, y-intercept. You're going to peak and then come back down along the asymptote. And that's ridiculous. So I'm definitely, definitely, definitely not going to put that one on the test. Not going to put that one on the test. And if you had to do the range, ha! the range would be negative infinity to whatever the top point of that is, the maximum right there. Yeah, so we're not going to do the range on that one. That's too difficult. But we are going to do the domain. We're going to do the domain. So the domain is all real numbers except x can't equal, and what do you think the x can't equal is? There's no holes, so it's just the what? Good, negative two. Can I shout out your name because I want to be uh, more wise you, is that okay? How about you, Matt? Can I shout out your name too? I can? Yeah, Alicia and Max are here with me, learning number eight with you. And so we get all our numbers except x can't equal negative 2. And the reason why is there's an asymptote there. At negative 2, there's a vertical asymptote. So all real numbers except for that. Um, and that's for the domain. We're not even going to touch the range because that's crazy. That's crazy. And so again, we used our calculator to uh, see what it was doing. And uh, the range would be all real numbers except for, no, the range would be negative infinity to whatever that maximum is. So I'm going to go second cal just to blow your minds. And that's going to be option four. You're like, oh, where's the maximum? Right about there. And the right bound is about there. And I'm going to guess that it's right about there. There's calculus. There's calculus for you guys. So we have a maximum of 0.375. So if I was going to do the range, which we don't require, because the range is too difficult without the calculator. But, using the calc, we would say from negative infinity, y is negative infinity, to 0.375, according to our, according to our calculator, right? Because we have a maximum right here at 2, comma, 0.375 is our y maximum. Yeah. So we go from negative infinity, negative infinity to that point. Basically for the range. For the range. But that's too difficult, so we'll say not on canvas. The range is not on canvas. Good. Here we go. So you behind the screen. You behind the screen. Yeah, R2D2. Thanks for watching. Woo!